pretty sweet kits that you can get them at the dollar store and uh, they're cool uh, they come with real rocks you can see there and um, I like science stuff so I uh, I bought five of them and I watched some other YouTube videos here's some clips that I saw here's our instructions growing crystals is easy and fun to do put about three-fourths of it into the water Not the most beautiful result ever, but... Looks pretty nice. That's like not even an inch. Seems like they don't turn out like the picture. And the display better still doesn't realistically seem like where you would find crystals in the wild, so I think I'm just gonna put together something else. The rocks are cool. Yeah core sample and this is a roll of packing tape that i decored i took the cardboard core out of the middle so that you can see the light go through it it's tin foil obviously and more tape just in case always need tape um, toaster oven tray and a piece of plywood just to use as a base so definitely crystals would grow here i think uh, and i'm gonna go ahead and make an armature out of tin foil to contain it a little more very versatile material a lot of Okay, uh, threw a couple of uh, big nuts that I found on the ground in there, we're pretty much ready to go. I mixed all five packets together and separated and added to the really hot water from microwave and mixed it around with the spatulas. And um, so yeah, sorry it's speeded up like there, but uh, you can follow me on Instagram at DanSplains if you want to see updates for how it goes, because basically just set it up like this and have to wait and see how it turns out. much larger so I'm gonna try again uh, we've got this old bubble wrap and with another five kits mixed together and I set up a time-lapse so I keep track of what's going on here uh, snowflake cauliflower style crystals growing really fast it's about four hour time-lapse and it seems like they're not that into the the bubble wrap but they they like the tin foil so maybe uh, Okay, this experiment I'm going to mix four packs together and pour the same mixture into four different environments. All followed instructions, two have tin foil and one with and one without have very high expectations. People on Instagram uh, said I must have added something else to get the crazy results, but it's just, just a regular crystal kit. So here's the experiment, the same crystal solution for all four to test the tin foil theory. Um, so here we go. And you can see immediate results already. Very quick. Tin foil going buck wild. Regular one, very boring. And here's the final outcome of the test. But why does the tin foil make the crystals go buck wild?
After extensive testing, the instructions are found to be needlessly complex, misleading, and prohibitive of growth. Please, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Dan Splains. Say comments. The Dan Splains Crystal Growing Part 2 is underway. And besides stimulating rapid dendritic crystal growth from the included packet of monoammonium phosphate, by further disregarding the instructions, I was able to achieve results that resemble the picture on the box. This is the dream I bought. Its crystal talons grip my heart. The driven wedge what sense deprived the dream I bought? Please like and subscribe. This is Dan Splains.